Howdy fellas, Mugman here, and welcome back to Mugman Plays Super Mario Odyssey. So in the last episode, we got quite a few power moons, actually. I think about, like, oh gosh, I don't even remember how many, but we went from 6 to 24. So yeah, we made some solid progress. Not to mention, we defeated Harriet of the Brutal. And in this episode, we're going underneath the inverted pyramid to see what, ow, hey! Bad skeletons! Bad! Uh-oh, they don't die! Wait, those aren't skeletons, those are mummies. Mummies that look like skeletons. Okay, so you can't necessarily get rid of them, you just kinda knock their faces off! Uh-oh, I'm gonna die if I'm not careful. Okay, let's just avoid them and let's get out of here! Holy whoa, whoa! These guys are everywhere! Okay, this is definitely an exciting start, I must say. Okay, so in any case, uh, in the last episode, we did open up the inverted pyramid and wait a minute, there's a power moon up there. But I don't think there's a way for me to get it. I mean, the bullet bills are pretty high up, but I don't think high enough. And I don't think I can get enough distance to get there. So how does we get this particular, uh oh, no time to think about that. We gotta worry about these guys. And what is going on with you, buddy? I think there's something down there, but I'm not brave enough to jump in. Leave it to Jumpman Mario. Woohoo! Well, well, we're sliding in, but eh, close enough. All right, down we go. All right, and after we take care of what's in here. Oh, whoa, it's a temple. Okay, I think we might be in for more than we expected. Though then again, not sure what you would expect jumping down a giant hole in the desert. But I mean, we are in a temple now. And there are things to collect in said temple, so let's go exploring. <laughs> well, now we're in control of a Goomba. Hey, these feet don't slip on ice. Ooh, definitely good to have. All right, let's take care of this first. All right, get it back on the Goomba and then jump before it hits us. And let's get those purple coins, shall we? Hmm. Okay, so in the last world, they were stone circles. Here, they're like Aztec chips. So I guess for each world, they're different. All right, good to know, I suppose. Oh, crud. Whoop, I'm dead. Lose 10 coins. Yep. We're off to a fantastic start, aren't we? Well, then again, it probably is good to have our health refilled for this. Ugh, them ice physics. Gotta be careful. Hmm, if I think about it, never really dealt with ice physics in Cuphead. Maybe in DLC we'll have some ice physics to worry about? Eh? Wink wink. I mean, honestly, I wouldn't know, because we haven't heard any news since the reveal. So it's a mystery what will be in that. Although, feel free to comment and speculate. Huh. Watch out, you. I'm gonna stomp on you. Okay. <laughs> So, if you're a Goomba and you jump on top of a Goomba, you make a Goomba stack. Good to know. Oh, and they stay stacked, too. Uh-oh. Ow! That probably wasn't a smart move. Yeah, there we go. Get that back on track. Okay, so... Oh, boy. That ain't good. I think we just activated a little bit of a difficulty increase for ourselves. Hmm. There be coins here. As well, there'd be something up there. But what? Oh, more Goombas. Hmm. Maybe if we get up there. Whoops! Uh, <laughs> I accidentally stomped one. Not my intention, I promise. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh! Well, that's pretty cool. Whoa! That's a big Goomba stack! And, wow! Okay, we can jump on top of the Goombas to stack them up. Wait, there's a Power Moon. There's Power Moon. There is Power Moon. Okay, I think I have an idea. Let's get the Goombas here. All right, let's grab the ones that are over here. And then let's stack them on top of this one. We gotta be careful of the little rings because those will hurt us. But if we take these Goombas over here to the Power Moon, ba-boom! Moon is ours. Goomba Tower Assembly. Some assembly required. Ow! That's not the best move I could have made today. Hmm, let's see how long I can keep this tower stack, because there are coins over there. 
that we could use the stack for. So let's get him while we still have this big old tower of Goombas. Oh, could you imagine stomping them all and getting a big thing of coins for them? Hmm. Maybe once we're across. Give the Goombas a taste of their own medicine. Although, I do feel kind of bad for them. They really didn't do much. I'll let them slide. Okay, so now we've got the bullet filled to worry about, and uh oh, that one's wearing a hat. Let's get that hat off, and let's ride! Here we go! Gotta wonder how they can accelerate in the first place. Uh oh, that one's gonna. I. I jumped off at the wrong time. <laughs> Sorry. Alright, let's try that again. This time being more careful and stopping at the right moment. You know. If they had this ability to <laughs> accelerate, why don't they use it more? I mean, I know they just use normal acceleration, but if they have a turbo boost, why not use it more? Eh, what can you do? All right, let's try that again. Take three of Bullet Bill Racing. Huh, be kind of a cool game mechanic. All right, off the Bullet Bill. Let's get the next one, because that first one was going to explode. Right, gotta be careful. We gotta dodge and weave through these walls. Alright, carefully. And boom! Quite literally, because he just went boom. This is kind of ominous. But in we go, I suppose. Here we go and down the stairs. Oh, it goes downward. Okay. Uh, what is that face? What is that face? I don't like the look of that face. But we're going towards it. I suppose. Uh, what? There's a slot here. For what? I don't know. But, uh, I guess we gotta go over to where that face is. Alright. Let's be careful about this. Okay, we need the bullet bill. So, ba bam Accelerate over and... Wait a minute. That's an arena. I'm sensing a fight coming. Uh-oh. Whoa! Those are some... Big rockets, I think. Kind of fancy looking too. Uh oh. Where ring go? Uh oh. You take ring. Oh crud! No, I did not take the ring. Uh oh. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. Oh gosh. So this thing thinks we're the thief. Uh oh. Hit the ice. So is that we're controlling its fist? Okay! That'll teach ya! Okay, so the objective in this fight is to get the fists to... Uh -oh, whoa! First off, not get hit by the fists. Secondly, have them stomp on ice and then control the fists themselves in order to punch him in the face. That gives new term to the meaning. That gives new definition to the term stop hitting yourself. Literally, stop hitting yourself. Nice. All right, that's two hits. I believe one more and we should be good. Uh oh, incoming rocket punch. That also gives new meaning to the term rocket punch. Seriously, this dude is literally a rocket punching statue. Uh oh, that doesn't look good. All right, whoop. Well, he's certainly trying to give us a big round of applause. Applause? Applause. I thought I said applause. That sounded like a pause, though. All right, land on the ice. Okay. This. All right, this isn't going to be easy, so let's just do this quickly. Alternating, and bam! In your face! Quite literally. Up, oh, and he is toast. Well, he literally exploded with anger. Well, we got another multi-moon. Sweet. That wasn't so bad. Definitely scary, not gonna lie, but, uh, not that bad. But at least we're done with this place for now. Have to come back later, but at the very least, we're ending off with a multi-moon from the hole in the desert. All right, now that that's taken care of, let's get out of here. Phew. Close call for comfort. All right, that should yeah. take care of some of the anomalies here in the desert. Oh, I was Phew, it's so hot now. But I do suppose that's what we were trying to accomplish. Uh, if we keep up this pace, we'll catch that Bowser in no time. That we will. Oh, that do we have that. enough power moons to reach the next kingdom? If you want to check, 
put me on the globe. Well, we kind of already did that last episode, but let's put the moons that we've collected on there as well. Just to give us a boost for the Lake Kingdom. All right, we're up to 28. Sweet. All right, so now let's head off to another kingdom. It's so cool how it just gives you a big perspective on things. Like, we went from the Cascade Kingdom, which is Jurassic-themed, to the Sand Kingdom, which is Mexican-themed, and now we're going to the Lake Kingdom, which is Atlantean and Aquatic-themed. Alright, time to set sail! Honestly, it is cool to watch the Odyssey just fly off and see all the circuitry underneath. Look at all the gears and spinners! Seriously, that ship is awesome! And it's shaped like a hat! Very subtle, I must say. Oh, well, not really, but still, it is cute. Though I am curious what that thing on the top of the ship is. I mean, I know it's a power converter of some sort, but does it melt the moons? Hmm, who knows? He kidnapped Yara, and now with this binding band, he's got a wedding ring. Is he going to steal a whole wedding? Honestly, I wouldn't put it past Bowser. He is a villain, after all. Seeing as how we've got some time to kill, let's review some useful skills. Good idea! Traveler's tip! Homing cap throw. After throwing your cap, shake the Joy-Con again to perform a homing cap throw. Your cap will fly toward the nearest target you can see. It's super handy when your aim is a little off. Well, there it is! Huh! That's actually a useful skill! Next, let's read up on the Lake Kingdom. It says they're known for their fashion and... Oh, there's a famous wedding gown there called the Lock Lady Dress. Cappy, I think your prediction on Bowser stealing a wedding might be coming true, buddy. Just saying. Let no time to think about that. Time to get to the Lake Kingdom. Ooh, that is beautiful. As a fan of aquatic stuff, this is gorgeous. And no, I'm not a fan just because of my wife-to-be Calamaria and nothing like that. I actually genuinely love, you know, aquatic-themed stuff and ocean-based stuff. It's cool. Shush. The Brutals! They're here, too! Yep. Looks like we're gonna have to deal with them in every world. Oh, the purple coins in this case are, like, teardrops. Or scales. This is kind of hitting close to home, not gonna lie. <sighs> All right, moving on. Oh, hello there, miss. My goodness, that monster's minions just stomped in here uninvited. And they stole our kingdom's finest lock lady dress. It's a tragedy. Well, shoot. I guess we're going to have to stop them. Wait, what's this thing? Hold up. I see that glow. Woo! The power moons in this are like coral pink. <laughs> Very subtle, guys. Whoa! Hello, money stack! Hey, get back here! The stack just disappeared in the water! Come on! That was a nice find! You're gonna take it from me? That stinks! Uh, let's see if we can find another one. Any others in the bushes? Come on. Any more money stacks? Ah, drat. Guess we are only so... Oh! Well, that works too, I guess. Alright. So, what is this thing exactly? Let's put our hat on it. Okay, so there are the Brutals over the lake. Let's zoom in. And look at them just dancing around in their little ship. Alright, where else can we see? What's that? It's a zipper. Wait, a z wait, hold on. A zipper? In the wall? What? Okay, that's good to know, I guess. Wait. There is a music note. Okay, I guess let's go deal with that? Alright, so... Pressing B allows us to swim. Wait, what the... Okay, um... So I guess we gotta collect all these little, uh, rhythm things? Is it like a puzzle? Or is it just another one of those things you gotta collect in order to get a power moon? If so, we're gonna get this one easy. Alright. Oh! It literally is for a power moon. Well, I'm not gonna complain. Easy power moon, I suppose. So, let's get it! Taking notes. Dive and swim. Okay, so collecting those music notes gives us a free power moon. 
If you're looking for the water plaza, it's right behind me. There's a box there. Let's break that. Oh! There's plenty of money in there. Okay, so we've got a zipper. Oh, wait, what? We're literally a zipper. And we, we, what? What? Did we just unzip concrete? Did we just, uh, moving on. Let's, let's go. Let's get going. Uh, I'm just gonna let my confusion get, uh, the what? We, we just like, we unzipped a thing. Watch out for those spikes. Will do. If there's one thing I've learned about death traps, spikes are not friendly. No. Puncture from those things is gonna leave a real bad mark. Ugh. Alright, let's get this water bubble and let's move on. Hmm. Since we're under the water, maybe we could possess a fish or something. Or maybe an eel. Like one of those big eels from like Mario 64? You never know. All right, thankfully there are water bubbles that have coins, so not only do you get a profit from it, but you also get some air. Whoa, okay, we've got some moving algae. Good to know, I suppose. Oh, whoa, it actually sprouts back? Okay, definitely good to know. Oh, there's some fish. All right, those must be the bloopers. Let's see if we can possess one. All right, got it. Oh, we actually can swim as a fish. All right, so dive with Y, surface with B. All right, whoa. Okay, swim carefully, of course, because you don't want to get hit by the algae, or whatever it's called. I don't know if it has a specific name or not. All right, so let's see what's over here in this treasure chest. Survey says Power Moon. And survey says we were right. Treasure in the spiky waterway. I will say it's definitely easier with the fish. All right, so let's move on. Because I think we're near a city, which means there's power moons aplenty. All right, just swim past this. And I gotta admit, I love the way the blooper just kind of shimmies when it swims, like it just shakes. Ooh, fish never have to worry about air. Well, I mean, underwater, but when they're above the surface, it's another story entirely. All right, so we've got more of these power moon shards we gotta take care of, so let's collect those. Okay, that's a coin. Let's get it anyway. Well, I will get out of here. Sorry. All right, there's another one over there, but I don't think I can be... Let's... Uh, yeah. Hey, you can breathe in here. Well, yeah, it's an air bubble. Put this dreadful rock here. I don't know, but we gotta get rid of it somehow. All right, let's flip up. Get this. And... Oh, we can actually leave through there. Hey, you! Get back here! Get back here, fish! I need your power. All right, let's keep swimming. All right, so the other two Power Moon pieces should be nearby, I think. Oh, and you can hop out of the water, too. That's adorable. Wait a minute. There's a Power Moon right there just for the taking. I'm gonna take it. Nice. Cheap, cheap crossing. Awesome. That's another one for the books. So that's four already. And there's another one right there. All right. Dory Backrider. All right, so I guess that's the name of this big lizard in a top hat. Oh, well, that's kind of precious. All right, so where are those other Power Moon shards? Why do I get the feeling one of them is back here? Let's see. No, that's not what I wanted to do. No. Aha, it was. Can we fit through here? We can, even though we took a hit to do so. All right, now let's get out of here before we take another hit. He says, as he takes, yet another hit. I need some help. I know there was a heart back there. Wait a minute. Nope, getting this first. Because with this, now we can get the Power Moon, which will restore all our health in a flash. So let's just go get that and be done with our troubles. Thank you, fish. The boom. Moon shards in the lake. Very nice. All right, so let's go into this giant bubble and see what we can find. All right, is the monster still there? Unfortunately, yes, he is, and so are his brutals. All right, which, by the way, that's a triple meaning because a group of bunnies is a brood, their bridesmaids, and they're brutal in their attacks. Now, I thank you for the heart, which converts to cash. All right, so how do we make our, whoa, that is a lot of coins. Excuse me while I go hop up and collect that. That is a lot of dough. Sheesh. We are swimming in coins. Why do I get the feeling collecting a bunch of coins is going to come in handy later? 
All right, let's swim up to the next level. All right, this door is locked, so I'm gonna presume we need to dress the part. Yep, we gotta dress for the occasion. To get into the lock lady display window, you'll have to dress like a swimmer. You do not at all look like for swimming. I'm very disappointed. Well, there's no shop, so there's not much to do. So this is where the dress was displayed. All right, that monster came and stole it. He stole our kingdom's greatest treasure. Aww. Seems like a lot of these kingdoms have special treasures that are just getting up and stolen. We definitely gotta fix that. All right, so we're in the shop, but unfortunately, I don't think we have enough for the swimming outfit that we need. All right, let's see anyway. Yep, we are short quite a few coins. So we're gonna have to come back. But either way, we know we have an objective in that. Now we do have to fight the Brutals at some point, so maybe we should start working on that. Oh wait, hold on. Ah, more coins! Yeah, that was a mistake. Hold on, got to my way back up there. All right, up we go. Nice. Now my curious question is, how do we get up top? All right, two coins. Whoop, whoop! Wrong move! Ah, time to swim up again! I also love you can see his shadow just flail, flailing his arms about. Right, so I see an air bubble there. All right, so that means we'll have to swim up to get to the top, which there is a bubble we can go through right here. All right, we can reach the top through this shaft. There's a bunch of coins you can collect first. There's that P-switch. There's another one in the Ice King, in the, um, in the Sand Kingdom, which now I think about it, we never really pressed. We'll have to backtrack to that. All right, but this P-switch opens up the shaft. Anything over here real quick? Nope. All right, so up we go. <laughs> it's kind of funny watching him just wiggle his little arms trying to swim. All right, so now that we're up here, we have another zipper, which, again, just, you're a zipper that can unzip things. That is so bizarre on so many levels. All right, let's press the switch, get more coins, and also get that flower lowered. Whatever that's for. Although, now I think about it, you could probably get us across the way to those boxes. These boxes contain a power moon I was not expecting. Well, no complaints for me. All right, let's break these real quick. Let's head on back. Hold up. We gotta get those purple coins first. Cause then we can avoid the swimsuit, and then we can get yet another power moon for our troubles. Seriously, every episode we collect a lot of these things. Though, I will admit it's definitely not as many as the first two episodes, but still. Well, technically the first, the second episode, but close enough. All right, let's get this one. What's in the bo- <laughs> What's in the box? A power moon. Uh, that's what's in the box. What'd you expect? Get a headache. All right, wait, whoa, hold on a minute. Now I see that. Now I see that door. In we go. That's gonna lead to another puzzle and whoa. This one is definitely more colorful. That's for sure. What's up here? More hidden coins. All right, got those. Hmm. I get the feeling this is gonna require us gripping onto the wall. All right, so gotta get that. All right, flip on that. And just gotta carefully maneuver down. Uh oh, not a good thing, not a good thing. Whoops! Well, crud. That's not good at all. All right, definitely gotta be careful doing that. Probably take a much more careful approach when it comes to sliding on these walls. All right, easy does it. Easy does it. Careful. All right, so far so good. Now, this, let's just go straight to the side. No dilly-dallying, no nothing. All right, more purple coins, great. All right, let's just slide to the side. Carefully now. 
Careful. All right, I'm gonna wait a bit just to get those coins because I see that there's like some little spiky enemies there. I don't want to overdo it. All right, carefully. All right, I want them to move slowly but surely. I love their bug eyes. Seriously, just watch them pop. It's kind of funny. All right, bounce on the flower. All right, these require a bit more precision. Gotta time your movements just right in order to properly land there. All right. All right, so what do we do now? Wait, no, 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 no! Crud! Ugh, shoot. Uh, all the way back to the beginning, I suppose, right? Ugh, I hate being right. All right, let's see if I can cheese this a bit. All right, that takes care of one part of the problem. Problem, problem. Get your words right, mugs. All right, let's just slide. I love the timing on that. I actually managed to get there on the nugget. All right, bounce on this, and then bounce on the second one. Almost didn't land on it. All right. Now let's not do something stupid. Let's just slide down, slide across. Now what do we do here? Oh, it's an elevator. And we gotta move past these things to not get hurt. All right, that's taken care of. All right, let's take care of that. And let's just slowly fly down these rings. Let's get the other three, but go faster. And let's get the power move. Awesome, jump, grab, cling, and climb. All right, let's get out of here. Ugh, gosh was not expecting to die so many times. But hey, what can you do? Platforming challenges are a bit on the tricky side. All right, so we've got the uh, enough coins to get the thing. So let's go back to the shop real quick before we fight the Brutals. And let's go into the Lock Lady dress display room. Because something tells me there is a Power Moon hidden there and I'm keen on collecting as many of these as possible per world. All right, take that. And let's change now, so that way we can fit in with the rest of the world. All right, at least in this world, of course. And we can afford more stuff, so let's get this sticker. Just for funsies. All right, it's going straight to the Odyssey, and oh, we'll even get this rubber dory while we're at it. All right. Now with that, we should be fully ready to go into the display. <laughs> I love it, he's even got a little inner tube. I guess Mario's got some swimming troubles, huh? All right, so let's go into the display room. All right, now we're ready to go in there. All right, Traveler, you look ready to swim. Please go inside. All right, in we go. All right, so this is the display. It's a beautiful display, but the head's glowing. Hubble! All right, show me the power moon. Alrighty then. Got it! I feel underdressed. Honestly, given that this is a display for a wedding dress? Yeah, I'm kind of feeling that way too. So, let's get out of here before we embarrass ourselves even further, eh? Alright, wait, there's another zipper there. Let's unzip that, because survey says there's a power moon under that thing. Alright. Oh. No, it's another one of those doors. I think we'll do that next episode. Because right now, let's go focus on the Brutals. Because they got to go. Oh, wait, we got to go through the tube. All right, let's make our way through. All right, up the shaft we go. Watching Mario wiggle his little arms, try to get up there because he can't breathe through his tube. <laughs> oh, there are some things we can climb. Good to know. All right. Now then, with all that taken care of and quite a few power moons in our pocket, let's go take care of those brutals, shall we? All right. After stomping on some Goombas, apparently. All right. So we fought Harriet last time, so which of the brutals are we fighting this time? Wait, she's back? I thought we knocked her out. <laughs> You're too late. We already got the lock lady dress. And it even matches the boss's tuxedo, so no way we're giving it back. 
Okay, so we're fighting the tall one. Oh, he's got nice hair under that hat. All right, so we gotta, oh. So that's how we get to him. We use the hat that has flowers underneath to bash him on the head. Ooh, so his hat's got like spikes to it. So we just gotta knock him back when he decides to, ow, hop around like a, well, like a rabbit. Which honestly makes sense given he is a rabbit. All right, so then he's like boomerangs it. Huh. I've seen that hat trick somewhere before. I can't quite put my finger on it, but a bladed hat, I know I've seen that somewhere. I just can't remember where off the top of my head. Well, off the top of my mug, but you get the idea. It looks familiar. Oh well, figure it out another day, I guess. Well, bam! All right, and that takes care of you. All right. Let's get ourselves a power moon. Or a multi-moon in this case. Oh yeah! Haha! <laughs> Two multi-moons in one episode! One per kingdom, I'd say! Alright, and with that taken care of, we can head back to the ship, no problem! Now I think about it, we can actually head to the next kingdom. Hmm, there must be more to this kingdom than meets the eye. I mean, there is that door we didn't explore, yeah. So, maybe there's something else here. Okay. I'm worried about those two. Let's go after them. I guess not. Okay, another part of the sale has opened up. Let's give it power moons. And up goes the sale. And up goes our counter. Which is now at 40. Wow, 40 power moons already. Not bad. All right, Cappy, so where are we going? Wait, what? Oh, we're going to the Wooded Kingdom. Maybe Bowser's there? Well, I guess we're about to find out. So off from the Lake Kingdom to the Wooded Kingdom. Okay, wow, we're really clearing through these worlds quick. All right, off goes the Odyssey. It really is cool how you see the world so small from the ship. I mean, it looks big, but from up there, it looks tiny. Almost as tiny as the globe, but not nearly as small. All right, Cappy. Who ever heard of a wedding with a stolen dress? Let's get after that tactless fiend. Tactless and classless. Seeing as how we've got some time to kill, let's review some useful skills. Travel tip, spin throw. When you're surrounded by enemies and just wish you could hit them all at once, snap the Joy-Con to the side to do a spin throw. Your hat will spin all around you. Well, there it is. Next, let's read up on the Wooded Kingdom. According to this guide, there's a giant greenhouse there filled with flowers. It's famous for their beautiful soiree bouquet. So I guess he's going to steal a bouquet to give to Peach heard of giving a girl flowers, but I think that's taking it a bit too far. The Steam Gardens. Whoa. Kind of industrial with a foresty afterlook. Well, foresty with a industrial afterlook. Road to Sky Garden. Ooh, I want a plant. Something tells me we gotta fight that, but I think we'll do that in the next episode because we've done quite a bit as it is. We cleared out two kingdoms and we're on our way to the next one. So in the next episode, we're going to explore the Wooded Kingdom. But till then, thank you guys so much for watching this episode. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like and a comment in the boxes below letting me know your favorite moments from this episode. Also, be sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell, and turn on all notifications so you know when this mug is exploring new kingdoms. Also, share this video around. Now that we're in the Wooded Kingdom, things are about to heat up. But hopefully not heat up enough so that this forest does not burn down. Remember... Only you can prevent forest fires. And with that said, this is Bugman, and I'll be seeing you. Bye bye. <laughs>